Oli and I are in Istanbul today, about to learn how to make two dishes from the Ottoman Palace cuisine. We have just had the most incredible walking food tour of the city around the Spice Bazaar. We made a separate video of that, and if you've missed it, we will put a link to it here. But now it's time for us to be the ones to create the food, and that's fine, except I'm cooking with Oli. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, that's my worry. That's the summary. Quite a lot could go wrong. So this is Nasla and this is Rocco. Hello. 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 So what are your roles in this fine establishment? I run the place and Nasla here is our local chef. I would like to wish you both good luck working with us on this. You will need it. <laughs> we specialize in Ottoman and Anatolian cuisine. We're going to do a very interesting dish. An eggplant braised in olive oil. This is Ottoman, very old, like 300 years old, something like this and it's vegan. It's called the Imam Bailed. The literally means the priest fainted. I hope you will like it. Oh, yeah, well, yes. if it made the priest faint, I'm sure I'd love it. <laughs> Next and last is another Ottoman dish. is a fig stuffed with walnut, uh, cooked in a syrup with cloves and lemon. I love that. I want to start with pudding. <laughs> it all sounds fantastic. Uh, herbs to, to sort it out dill, mint and parsley, the most important herbs in Turkey. Mm. Onion, garlic, tomato. We do this, uh, the onions need to be cut very thin for our lovely uh, eggplant dish. Anyone who knows how clumsy Oliver is, is now quaking. That includes me. Yes. Do we know where the hospital is? It's, it's, it's quite far. It's Did you hear that? Way. Hospital is far, Oliver. Okay. Concentrate. Right. Okay, so three herbs. Okay. Parsley. Fresh mint, the. Okay. Okay, so Stephanie, if you want to do all of this, I'll uh, go and have a No, no, I, I vaguely remember you <laughs> putting yourself forward for the hard prep. <laughs> okay, good luck, Cheryl. Oh, the smells. I wish everybody could smell this. Yeah, that good. mint. Okay, Oliver, it's a race. Okay, let's go. go it's go, go, a go, go, race. Go, go. We can do this. Are we supposed to be keeping them separately or all in, in a big pot? Oliver, what is, what is that? What is that, Oliver? <laughs> Did you do this? <laughs> oh, what? The stalks are supposed to come off. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I've lost, I've lost it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Finding this quite stressful. There we go. It's fine. I'm back on it now. We can't see the herbs, but this is worth it for the look of concentration on Oliver's face. As this he is, can't remember his task. This is just remove the stalk. Literally, that's the only task. Competitive, competitive um, stalk strimming. Stalk strimming. Yes. I was going to say stalk stripping, but that just felt <laughs> wrong. So, I would just like to show everyone this is where the dill, dill pile was. See, that, that's now finished. And the parsley pile. Actually, it's still quite large, the parsley pile. I actually pile. genuinely feel the pressure here. I, I'm losing it. This is, this is not playing to my strength. Competitive herb stripping. Uh, this, this is, I'm embarrassed for you, Frankie Ollie. I, I've done the mint and the, and the dill. You, you are it's so, still some of that parsley. You are <laughs> so pleased with yourself. <laughs> Maybe I should be management. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm taking a directorial role. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I... Do you know what? Do you know what? meat very fine, Oh, my goodness. Okay, you... now, two hands very cute. This is fantastic. Oh, wow. Very big. Let me just show you this. I just wouldn't trust myself with that. <laughs> no wonder the chopping board is so big. That's brilliant. It's very efficient. Okay, right. right. Let me. <laughs> this makes chopping fun. <laughs> I don't want one at home. Yeah, it's yes. safe because your fingers are completely out, tightly out of the way. It's actually much safer than a knife. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, well, I need to come and try this. Okay. I let you and she do news. Yeah, that, that's good. This is a challenge. It's impossible to chop your arm off. <laughs> Remember that. That was the last thing we heard over the say. The life of its own. Don't lose control. Don't lose control. Don't lose control. I don't lose control. It's lethal weapon. Don't take it wrong. Yes. This is actually, this is quite a workshop. It didn't seem to be like this when you did it. Yeah, you're really putting, you're putting your entire body into this. 
Enough. Enough. Yes. Enough. yes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Well, you, you have to leave now. Oh. <laughs> Put it down, Stephanie. Put the knife down. If you do the cross on the back, when the skin starts to crack, it means it's time to take the knife. Okay. Oh, yes. Water. Peeling tomatoes over here. That's so ridiculously easy. It's good technique, isn't it? Very good technique. Okay, first one. Yes. Cuts in quarters Later. and vision of the seats. Now one half. That's it. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna do the filling for the egg marble, the egg pan dishes, and we we need to massage. The onion with a little bit of salt. Need to massage an onion, definitely. Yes. So you're going to massage an eggplant. Yes. <laughs> well, while you're doing tomatoes, I'm going to massage an onion over here. Okay, you enjoy the salt. Yes. Uh, for every two onions, we need like a, a little bit of salt, something like this. Oh, okay. We're gonna massage them until the oil is all liquid, and I think Oliver is gonna help us with this. I will. I will. I will. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go in. Occasionally. Some of my friends cry. Okay, do they cry? Do they, do they find massaging onions emotional? Very hard squeeze, please. Oh. Very hard. Harder. Yes. Well, I would massage the onions. Oh. <laughs> you didn't say this was a deep tissue massage. Uh, oh, I, um, yeah. oh, I like oh, this. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. This, is, this is... You're getting there now. This is, very, this is a very manly massage, as you said. Macho. There's no tears at all. Have you noticed? No tears? <laughs> In fact, there's smiles. <laughs> yeah. Not many men can do this. After you, the mint parsley. Still no tears. Garlic. Oh, okay. sugar now. Yes, sugar. Lemon juice. This is the oldest dish that we cook in the class, more than 300 years old. Chili this peppers. This would have been eaten in the Ottoman palaces. Chili yes. peppers. Okay. Well, chili, chili peppers. Chili peppers, yes. Mm. Black peppers. Black peppers. Okay. Add a tail. A little one. No, no, no. Blink it away, blink it away. Okay. Tomato paste. Mm. Yes. I love tomato paste. Tomato paste, red bell pepper paste, extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Not too much, very little oil. Okay. Okay, very little. Very little. <laughs> wow. Very little. That's fine. Wow. I think now you mix, mix okay, it now well. Mix. Yes. Oh. The paste needs to be. Oh, this is this is good. Not squeeze gentle. Oh, squeeze very gentle, gentle. Like yes, this. Very okay. gentle on me. So, what is this dish called? This is the tears of Imam Oh, the, 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 the Imam Ah, uh, the Imam fainted. This is fun to me. It is fun to me. It's really fun. It's a kind of bit like when my daughter makes okay. slime. Now, fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. Fresh tomatoes, you don't want to crush them. No, I'm not crushing up either. I've gone, I've gone from deep tissue to gentle massage yes. now. Tenderness. Yeah, this is, a, this is a this is a sort of tender Turkish massage. More caress. Caress. Yes. Okay, so you now taste. Can I taste it? Yes. Should be a little bit soft. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's special. I can't have any stuff. Okay. Thank you. So good, isn't it? It's so good I could cry, not even from the onion. Okay, no, it's head. so good. Yeah, it's one of those uh, tastes that's got your whole mouth is buzzing yeah. with different flavours. Now, steeps or yes. meat of sausage. In the middle of the dish, yes. okay. all meat. Now, eggplant turn. Ah, you turn on that eggplant, it's not the knife. Uh -uh. Now, the meat turn. Oh! Wow. Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, now first corn and peel. Yes. Corn peel. Okay, now knife feet. Now green or scrape. Okay. Or green. Yes. Okay, now inside table. First little squeeze. Massage the excellent. <laughs> massage. <laughs> yes, massage. <laughs> Okay, now not deep. First two fingers, later start. First big one peel. Okay, now first big one, now eggplant turn. Okay, now two small. One big, two small. 
just got a technical. It is. Okay, now, stop. Okay, we'll see. Yes. Okay, now one other. Small. Yes, same. One big, two small. Two small. Yes. Okay, now big one. Knife inside it. Okay, not deep. No. Now, not deep. Slow, slow. Now turn. Oh my word. Okay, now squash. It's getting increasingly complex. This is definitely a job for you. I'm, I'm lost now. I just want to see you do this, actually. <laughs> I think I could I would probably pay to watch this. Six seconds. Okay, now push. Squeeze. Oh, I see. You're making space inside it to stuff it. Yes. Now it all makes sense. It's like a little boat. Yes. Yes, like, like a boat. See, you, don't want, you don't want to remove too much because you want to have a little bit extra time yes. for the eggplant to absorb the flavor from the seed. Mm. If you cut it off, it cooks too quickly. Okay. Oh, now you're doing two little eyes. Now finish. Okay, good luck. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Wow. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, Stephanie, doing that. Oh, now for you. The only bit I remember is the first bit. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> that's genius. Yes. I'm proud of you, Stephanie. Oh, I am proud. That'll be honest. Okay, now for you. One corner. <laughs> a lot more practice with this. It's cool, yeah. though, isn't it? It's I'd definitely be doing this at home. Well, I won't. I'll be. Asking Camilla to do it. This dish was more more popular, but because it takes quite a bit of time, and the, you know, the preparation is around half an hour, half forty minutes cooking plus cooling down. You yes. Don't, you don't find it in the restaurant anymore. That's such a pity. I find it quite hard to make any difference in the size of my peel. I'll be honest. Well, that's good. That is. Ooh, that was. Because you, you might want to use the tip, tip, of, tip of the ah. and then it becomes oh, a, yes. a little bit, a bit smaller. Now we score it like this, okay. yes. then oh, you squash it. Oh yeah, you should have thumbed it. Squash. Let me show you that again. Squash my fish. Quite a big eye. But yeah, good. well, we have to see. Yeah. All the better for seeing when, and then the as they say in the fish world. Yeah. That's pretty good. Got a bit of a wonky <laughs> face, but he's a little bit grumpy as well, isn't he? No, I think it's finish. good. <laughs> That's amazing for your first go. This is a brilliant dish. Brilliant. Basically making fish canoes. Little fish canoes. I like it. Can't wait to eat this. Okay. Wow. That's so cool. Go little fish. We call him Jaws. Yeah. She's very fast, Roto. <laughs> She's used to doing mass catering, aren't you, Stephanie? Yeah. Cold water, yes. And then just around it. Yes. Um, until until the, the onions, basically. Like that? Yes. Okay. So the, the onions, uh, they are all outside. That's why they need now, to, tomato to, to juice. be wet. We use a little bit of the juice. Now, tomato juice. Wow. A little bit more oil because it looks a little bit too dry. Oh, we don't think about <laughs> that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Positively parched. Okay, now cook. So we put it on the on the stove, five minutes medium until it uh, reaches boiling point, and we're gonna lower it to the minimum, and it, we're gonna uh, it simmer it for another thirty-five minutes at least. Okay. And every now and then, we come here. The fat is gonna separate. We collect it and we put it on the top, okay. uh, basting it in this kind. When it's ready. We're gonna wait it five minutes with the steam in, and after we put it on a plate so it releases all the water and cools down. This is eaten at room temperature. Okay. Oh, okay. So definitely not water. Okay, now dessert start. We soak three parts of water, one part of sugar, some cloves, and half a lemon. Okay. And this recipe I do it a little bit less sweet because not everybody is Turkish. <laughs> oh, I'm very Turkish when it comes to sweetness. I am not very Turkish when it comes to no, sweetness. No, not many people are Turkish when it comes to sweetness. Oh, really? Right okay. feet? Yeah. First. So they are still dry, still a little bit wet. Mm. So I tried one of these earlier, it's delicious. They are beautiful. 
So it must be a semi-dried fig. Okay. Okay, now knife. Oh my goodness. First push. So an opening is big enough okay, for the glass to get in. Don't complain about this, Oliver. I had to make an entire fish out of an ecoplant. plant. <laughs> we actually, I'm actually going to stuff the fig. Hello, class. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> it's, like, it's got a lot of personality. Yes. Hello. <laughs> my name is Frederick the Fig. <laughs> Right. So I have to do that now, do I? First, Philip. Oh, <laughs> hungry, hungry, Fred. Very hungry. <laughs> okay, now push or squeeze. Okay, squeeze. Yes, yeah, squeeze. Mm-hmm. Massage, Oliver. Could you massage? Oh, okay. It's really cool. I've it's your speciality. Yes, yes, massage. Massage. <laughs> <laughs> massage. I can't even feel the people in that. Turkish arm of massage. <laughs> so you took the fig. Push. Oh, nice. You got that, Oliver. Look at that. And then I... You're away now. Slit a little hole in it. This is where... This is the worrying bit for everyone. Oh, yes, a knife pointing at you. We're all concerned. Wait for Frederick to appear. Okay, now I take one of these. Okay, now I feel it. Yeah, this is good. Oh, his mouth actually doesn't go far enough back. Maybe one big or one half. Okay, that's fine. No, you can get it all in. It's fine. It's very satisfying. Okay, so now Stephanie's going to put them in the syrup, which is boiling beautifully. How long do they stay in here for, Rocco? Uh, you usually you cook them at the same time, like 35, 40 minutes. All oh, right, okay, so quite a long time. You could do it quickly, but it probably break them a little bit too much. Okay. We try to be jet gentle. The last seven, eight minutes, we're going to remove the lid, so they oxidate and they become darker. Okay. As well, if you like sugar very much, you can reduce the syrup a little bit more than I do. The more you reduce the syrup, the sweeter they're going to be. Mm. So here we are. Oh, yeah, they're getting fatter. Things are getting fatter. Rocco just put a little bit of oil on mm. the eggplant to make yes. sure it's not getting too dry. And then you cover it. It's going to take at least another 20 minutes. This is completely finished now. It just has to cool. Yes, yes, it needs to cool down at least half an hour. Okay. okay. These are looking good. So these are going to cool off now. Yeah, cool off. They're going to release a little bit of liquid. It's not going to look very pretty. So we're going to change the plate one, once again. Okay. But it's not important. The important is then it cools as quickly as possible. Okay. Turn them over. Yes, yes. These are going to be good, I can tell. So these are ready because the colours... The colour, you see, is much much, much darker now. Yes. How long has this been cooking for now? I can't remember. 40 minutes. 40 minutes, yes. okay. First little squeeze, getting rid of the excess syrup. Yes, not too much water. Yes. Okay, and now what do we do? Coconut next. Pistachio. Beautifully done, Stephanie. Beautifully done. Voila. Wow. Seven years. This is the, one of the most successful the set that we have here. So you said you've never met anyone who doesn't like this? Yes. Wow. You can feel a little bit of the lemon on in the background and the sweetness of the figs. The, lots of flavor coming from the cloves. So it is beautiful, like you said. We are done. We're done? Ooh, yes. Woohoo! We're done. So now what? Class finish. Now dinner time. Ah, excellent. Yeah. I feel like we really aren't this. It feels we have. better because we were cooking. So Surprising pleasure being in the kitchen with it's you. It's been an amazing day, actually. It's been a perfect day. Yeah. Really nice. To I think Turkish well. wine is very underrated, I have to be said. <sighs> now, Imam Bayilda. Oh, honestly, the courgette fritter, so amazing. Now, this is the one I've most been looking forward to, apart from the pudding, of course. Because mm. I tasted this at the very beginning with the sauce, and it was incredible. Vegan jaws. Okay. So, this is the main event. This is the main event. The one we've been looking forward to. Oh, yes. The thing I wanted to tell you about this is obviously we talked about the fact that it's called the priest fainted, of course, the imam fainted because this is Islamic. And I know a little bit more about this story. 300 years ago, the imam's wife had leftovers and nothing much in the kitchen. So, oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. And she created this new dish. And it is said that the imam fainted for two reasons. One, it was so delicious he fainted. Two, and as you saw when we cooked it, there was so much olive oil in it that he considered it quite extravagant and so fainted from the sheer excessiveness of olive oil. 
But in those days, there was a reward for people who would bring great recipes to the Ottoman palace kitchen. And he took his wife's recipe, he took it to the kitchen to collect that reward. And indeed he did get it because they agreed, the chefs there, that this was a great dish and it was eventually served to the Sultan and became a staple of Ottoman palace kitchen. So let's eat as the Sultans did, Ollie. Yes, let's try this. This was fun to make, this one, wasn't it? Really fun and actually very easy to make. Is it good? It better be good. I am prone to fainting fits. <laughs> it's really good. The, the flavours just sing. No, pizza. Oh. oh, this is it. The moment we've been waiting for. I think I'll have those too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like tea or coffee? I would love some tea. Tea? Yes, please. Tea, tea. please. Okay. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look at that oozing syrup. So this is basically been cooking in syrup. And where's where's the walnut gone? No, oh, you must have Oh, there it one. is. Very small walnuts in this one. Let's taste this. I'm intrigued by this dish. So we've got coconut, pistachio. Yes. This is oh. a new Oliver. The crave just hit me. It's just too much. I literally have this like sweet of delicious sort of sweetness with the kind of edge of the clove and the pistachio. It's, it's, it's stunning. That's oh, good, isn't it? It's simple to make. The flavours are rather complex. It's delicious. Yeah, that's a winner. Mm. It was the best meal. You even helped me actually cook, which is a remarkable achievement. So thank you. Yeah, anyway, thank you so delicious. much. And I'll tell you what, I would absolutely recommend coming here. Yeah, 100%. Amazing. And you not only do the cooking, but that was a seriously good meal.